Good morning, everybody. This is your DAX setups for today. So, a couple of things. Uh, the short didn't play out. Uh, there was no opportunity for the short. It was just on with and up with, but we've come back into this uh, 18700 area, and at the moment we are rejecting it. So, exhaustion bar, confusion bar, and then a bit of a hanging man, and then We've got uh, a bit of a pullback now during the Asian session. Uh, not going to read too much into this. I think uh, we are definitely going to be aiming to break through the all-time high. And uh, just a matter of time before it happens. So for me, we are still looking for opportunities to buy off. There is a strong magnet being this gap to the downside, which is weekly gap. Uh, and then you have another weekly gap much further down, but uh, I guess out of play at the moment. What you should be doing is just put your structure in, and I'm going to put one more in being this pin bar. Pretty much the same levels that we looked at yesterday. Uh, and that's the area I want to be buying off. Now, if we do break below the sort of the low of, yeah, it is the low. So the low of this week, that would set up a double top. Okay, set up a double top for a move down, and you can see here is a double bottom moved up, and now we're looking at some form of a double top. Not in play until it breaks, so don't pay too much attention to it just yet. What we're looking for is just to see, you know, where are the opportunities? We do, no, we don't have diversions at the moment, and a little bit of diversions here. But I'm going to ignore that for now. We've got a solid weekly gap to the downside. And you can see yesterday, while we we're doing the video, we were looking for a rejection in this zone here. Uh, you can see where these three three hour bars are. You'll see it on the on the hour. So it was pullback, looked like a flag. We we're looking for an, a second move down to this area. It did not materialize. Again, it is going against the trend, so probably not the wisest thing to be looking for. And uh, if we look at this on the hour, you can see there, we're, do, we're just sort of doing the video around here. And then at the open, or just before the open actually, rockets to the upside and then all over the place. So what we're looking for is the structure. Now, this pin bar from the uh, rates cut announcement is very much in play. You can see how it was defended yesterday. And we're back at this zone at the moment. So I would be looking at uh, one more level. So wait for the open, and you're looking at 18,928, 18,900, and 18,890. Those are the levels that you want to be paying attention to. You're looking for opportunities to buy in there. Um, and your target is pretty much it should be around 19.050. But uh, pay very close attention to, to 19.00, sorry. Um, because you can see how we flirted with that yesterday, so pay very close attention to that. It could act as resistance as well. So that's kind of my view this morning. I don't think a 15 minute is going to change much. Uh, no, you can see from the 15 minute perspective, definitely was something brewing for a short that didn't play out, didn't get the break and retest, wouldn't have caught the long either, and you may have caught this section here, but I don't think so. So yeah, that's pretty much my view on this at the moment. Uh, I think it's going to be chaotic as it was yesterday. I think that's going to continue today. To be honest, I don't think we're going to uh, get clear-cut direction. It's going to be all over the place. But I do believe you need to be waiting for price to revisit some structure lower down. And if you get your pin bars or your engulfing bars early in the session, uh, I think uh, Monday's example is a great one. Decent pin bar, and look, if you're still in on that, you'd be making money on it anyway. Um, but that's what I'd be looking for. Inside bars, 
pin bars, engulfing bars on the level and uh, look for the opportunities to buy. Just watch out for your targets ahead. I don't think you want to be holding indefinitely. I think you want to be taking profit at uh, each level. Just even if it's a small profit, take it, move on, wait for the next setup. Hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.